Hi friends, uh, welcome to TechLake video tutorials. This session I am going to explain about on uh, PLSQL triggers. We have already covered on PLSQL blocks, that is a procedure, functions and packages. Those are objects. There is another object called uh, triggers. The triggers main concept is like whenever event occurs, whenever event occurs, if you want to automatically trigger something, if you want to automatically trigger something without your, without user or maybe some other interruption so that is called triggers triggers means whenever event occurs it's automatically fired for example if you are doing some dml operations if you want to log that information who is doing the dml operation if you want to restrict that that time you can go for trigger same thing if some user is logging on your system so if you want to log the information okay that is for auditing pros, uh, prospective if you want to get all the auditing logs you can create a trigger same thing for system level if you are if you are uh, shutting down your system or if you are starting your system if you want to log your information at the database level to store some table when it is restarted like when it is shut down the system when it is started the system those information also you can store that is called triggers triggers mean whenever event occurs particular event it may be system event or it may be user events it may be system events or it may be user events that time you can use these triggers to log their information to log the information on database level those got triggers let's see the types of triggers in pl sql dml triggers when you are doing a dml operations like insert update and delete these triggers you can use and these triggers will be fired whenever you are doing dml operations ddl triggers means when you are doing DM, DDL operations, these triggers can be used and these triggers will fire on while doing the DDL operations and it will log the information that you can use for auditing prospective. Same thing for system triggers. System triggers means startup and shutdown. When you are doing a server startup and a server down, if you want to log your auditing uh, logs, that time you can go for system triggers. There is another trigger called instead of trigger. Instead of trigger means uh, this is again user level that is user event level triggers when you are updating your complex views that time you can use this instead of trigger so dml ddl and instead of trigger those three are related to user event user events means specific to user specific to users and there is another two called log on and log off these two also user event triggers user event means when user is logging on, when user is logging off, that time also you can store your auditing logs. You can store your auditing logs. So these are related to triggers concept. These are related to triggers concept. But most of the developers will be using DML triggers. So in interview point of view, also you will be expecting more questions related to DML and instead of trigger. And DDL and system triggers is mainly at the administrator level, like who are working DBA or maybe oracle dba so those uh, will be using this trigger because as a developer you don't have a uh, rights or you don't have a uh, access to create this ddl triggers as well as system level triggers so mainly as a developer you should know uh, dml triggers but a knowledge wise i'm sharing all this uh, list of triggers so let's uh, start with the dml triggers dml triggers normally uh, we can create at 12 ways but people will say that we have a 12 types of DML triggers. We can create triggers in 12 types that is called one is a row level trigger, another one is statement level trigger. Statement level trigger is nothing but entire table. For example, if you have a one table with the 10 records, if you have created statement level trigger, it will be fired only once. Only once. If you have created row level trigger, because you have a 10 rows, it will be fired 10 times. So this trigger will be fired every record that is called row level trigger that row level trigger can fire on can create on this six types statement level trigger also can be created on this six types that is you can see firing event before and after before inserting before updating before deleting this is a three same thing for after inserting after updating and after deleting if you want to fire these triggers you can fire that is called row level and statement level each trigger can create six ways. Statement level trigger also can create six types. Row level trigger also can create six types. That's why we are calling as 12 types of 
DML triggers. Remember this. Not 12 types of triggers. 12 types of DML triggers. Okay. 12 types of DML triggers. So, there are other DDL and uh, uh, system level triggers and instead of triggers. That we will discuss one by one. So, next session I am going to explain about a DML triggers one by one and the syntax everything. So, please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel. Thank you very much.